about uh, the Adani Group FPO, but the big queue today will be the union budget and India Inc. has a lot of expectations from the budget as well. So let's hear out some important voices coming in from the market and the corporates. I think the, this government is really focused on, uh, on pushing the infrastructure a bit and I'm very, very happy that uh, uh, this bit uh, government is uh, working on and uh, I think this budget will further uh, give boost to the infrastructure spend. When it comes to budget, of course, uh, savings I think needs to be encouraged in the economy and particularly the kind of growth rate which we are envisaging, which is essentially about from the current level about 6%, we need to go up to about 8%. So to promote the savings, I think there would be, I, we expect that if at all there could be some relief from the taxation point of view as well as the interest income is concerned on the deposit, that will probably go a long way in terms of supporting the economy as well. The coming budget, the momentum uh, that the railways have found in the, over the last few years under the current government uh, will continue. Uh, the railways have clearly a target of moving to 3,000 million tons by 2030. And in order to achieve that, there is going to be a large scale investment that is required both in terms of infrastructure, more so in rolling stock, in freight wagons. And we, are, uh, we are expecting that the, the momentum of the railways towards the, achieving that would continue in the, uh, in the forthcoming budget. India is a bright spot in the current global environment and uh, my sincere hope is uh, budget will provide uh, the continued support for this momentum uh, for India's uh, digital story. It's a very high level broad expectations. Well, on that note, we'll wrap up on this edition of Budget Breakfast, but you stay tuned to CNBC TV 18, a power pack lineup all through the day.